Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is super exciting. Another collab with my beautiful, beautiful friend Anki. If you don't know who she is, pause this. The link to her channel is in the description box below. Head over, subscribe, then come back. But yes, anyways, if you haven't seen the first video with the making of this palette, then I will have that linked either up in the cards or in the description box. It'll be in one of the places, I promise. And also Anki's channel and her video, you'll find there too. So Anki gave me the theme of berries. I got excited because usually I don't know, I just don't think I'd have thought of that myself, weirdly. Um, but yes, so this is the palette I created, my Berries Inspired palette. I'm terrible at naming them, so I just don't do it. So this palette is my Berries Inspired palette. I had so much fun making it. If you haven't seen that video, please go back and check it out. Again, it'll be linked somewhere um this was so so much fun i i just i love building palettes i just think it it kind of brings out your creative side and if you've got a lot on your mind it helps it helps colorful things if you like color that is and arty things but yeah i had so much fun i found it really therapeutic and yeah I created two looks, spoiler alert, this is look number two, um, but yeah, if you'd like to see how I created those looks, then yeah, just keep on watching. So the first shade I'm going in with is Insomnia, which is the deep blue. This is my blueberry. So I picked this because I thought this was quite a blueberry kind of shade so I'm just going to stamp out the shape I want first before we blend anything I do love lethal shadows I do need to get some more singles though that aren't just not just lethal, but I do love them a lot. So have any of you guys headed over from Anki's having watched hers first? I'm so excited to see what she has created. Both palette and then the looks. So we are doing two looks as you will already know. I don't know why I'm telling you. I don't want to take it like chunky all the way in. Just kind of blend it, blend it, just drag it down a bit. You will have to excuse me, my brain seems to be in I don't want to work mode at the moment, so <laughs> it is what it is. I'm just making sure to bring it down onto the lid at a diagonal. So I'm next taking Replica from Lethal Cosmetics, which is this green beautiful I'm so happy you got gooseberries so that I got to add some green I'm always happy if I can add some green I 
at the moment I am just placing it around the edge I will blend we'll blend them together and blend out shortly but first we need to get the color down look at that this is just one of the most beautiful greens ever and I do have to say I feel pretty much the same way about this this blue insomnia I know it doesn't look like much at the moment but I promise you it will come come together just softening just softening the edges of the green there I will more than likely go in with some like a clean brush but we'll see we'll just see how it goes so I have the new lethal collection the rights collection um, I think it's called I do need to get around to filming with it but I haven't yet I'm just softly bringing it just inwards a bit there. So I'm just kind of swishing my brush between the two a little bit there. We'll go back in with the brush that I used for Insomnia. Just want to do a little bit of blending with the green first I was having a think because there's not only green like in the glue the glue sprays the goose sprays um, but also like strawberries they have green green leaves as do many of the others so yeah I think green goes perfectly so just dipping into the tiniest bit of insomnia, the blue, I'm just going to go back in and just ever so gently just mix them together, mix them, blend them, same difference, kind of. This is looking so good. I am so, so happy with this. I'm definitely going to have to speed you through the majority of this because, uh, yeah. I'm very pedantic with my blending. If I don't think it's blended well, I can take forever. Yeah. For me, there's no point in doing it if you're not going to be happy with it. Do you do it, well, to feel good? Art. I'm not an arty person in general, so this is kind of my my creative outlet. I can do nail art and kind of makeup, I think. I'm definitely I don't think I'm too bad. Alright. So I'm just taking a tiny brush and I'm going to go back into insomnia. And 
I just want to drag that onto the outer part of the lower lash line there. just want to kind of match them up so it flows from upper to lower. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> And then back in to Replica, the green mat, and just want to bring that underneath. I'm loving how this look is coming together. Crazy. I went into this today thinking I was going to be going with the reds and pinks, but I don't know. I clearly need my calming colour. And then back in with a bit more insomnia. Right up against the lash line. And then back in with the green brush, just to green brush, the brush that I used for the green. Okay, so before I go any further, I'm going to pop on some NYX Glitter Primer. Right. Let's go from the outside in. So first up, I'm, oh, what am I gonna do? First up, I'm going to go with Synth, this one here. It's from Lethal Cosmetics. And I just want to place Synth just out here. Beautiful. Such a pretty colour. That's pretty. Beautiful. Then I'm going to go in with Cryptic, which is the green shimmer. Yeah. And want to make that most of the rest of the lid. No, I'm leaving a gap. Right, so I'm just trying to smudge it into synth there. I know they're not going to blend as such, but it is easier with the shimmers. And then for the inner part of my lid, I am going in with Lychee, which is this pink shimmer it's from the Pastel Roses. And I am placing 
placing light G just in the area that's been left open. I love the combination of like blue and green with pink. so pretty and I'm just going to blend lychee into a replica dipping into the green just the same as just did from the green to synth oh, that's so pretty I like that and then I want to pop some of lychee on my lower lash line so I'm just spraying it and then just bringing it just on the inner part of the lower lash line here So we've just connected the upper to lower lids on the inside there. I am loving, loving the look of this. So I'm going to dip back into Insomnia, the blue matte, just to bring back the depth there. And then a bit of synth, which was that first shimmer we put on. I just want to bring that back just a little bit. Ended up losing it a bit there. And I don't want to do that. I am loving how this is looking I'm gonna nip off finish my face and then I'll be back to show you finished look number one so don't go anywhere okay guys so this is finished look number one let me know what you think in the comments section below I'll just let you know what else I've popped on my face before handing you over so Mascara is the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty, my favourite and the only one I use. In my waterline I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Extra Frosting. The wing is the Inglot Gel Liner in the shade 82. This was actually a gift from Anki so I thought it was quite fitting. I love it by the way Anki and my lashes are from Bunny Beauty in the style Miami unfortunately Bunny Beauty has closed down shut her doors completely so I'm sad really sad um, my blusher is from She Glam it is their lightweight matte blush in the shade Tangerine the highlighter I have on is from VE Cosmetics. It is the Divine Highlight. And that's what she looks like. For the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I use this. And I stuck with little the bluer bits for my inner corner and brow bone just to kind of tie it all in. I love this, by the way. Great find. Great. Um, my lips. Firstly, 
I have discovered the Colourpop Lippy Sticks Primer. I am obsessed, absolutely obsessed. This is a little gem, so yep. If you like wearing lippy, it's a good buy. I recommend it. And the lipstick I have on is from She Glam, and it is the matte lipstick in the shade pool party these are brilliant this is fast become one of my favorite lipsticks go figure anyways now my lovelies i am going to hand you on over to look number two okay so the first color i'm going in with today is terminus from lethal cosmetics And I'm just going to start going kind of in my crease and above. This is going to kind of be the transition shade. That's how I'm imagining it anyway. I'm trying not to uh, plan too much because once I start doing that and it changes, I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm just going to take it higher than my crease and then blend it out from there. I did prime my eyes with the P. Louise Pro Base in the shade Rumor 02. I'm going to be bringing this out. If it starts to get loud, for some reason we've had a lot of sirens up the road today. So far I've seen a undercover car with its lights going, I'm not looking so undercover anymore. Um, an ambulance and another police car so something is going on and I don't want to know what <laughs> if I'm honest so just building it up a little bit lower down and then continuing to blend out I don't need to build too much with this shade because this one's only really going to be seen on the kind of outer edge. You know what, I've never liked double-ended brushes until I got this one. It's the Spectrum B09. I love it. I've used it so many times that and I didn't think I would. I think my issue is storing them because I keep mine all in, well, they're in actual mugs, like like this. This is my prints one. Um, but yeah, that's how I keep my brushes generally. Oh, knocking everything. So uh, yeah, it just makes it for me a little bit more, kind of, I don't know, just difficult to store. Is that it? I've done my eyebrows a bit different today too. I fancied a change, so I hope they don't look too bad. I just thought, because I've been really liking doing the almost like laminated effect. So obviously my brows are next to nothing and at the moment are falling out at a rate of knots. Um. These things happen, at least I can draw them back on. So it could be worse. I could just kind of permanently look kind of brow bold. These collabs with Anki are just so much fun. I love just being able to kind of make my own palette, but kind of given a theme to go by and not necessarily a theme I would have chosen for myself so it's it's really exciting being able to do that and also once you've been given a theme so if you choose your own theme you've already been thinking about what colours you want to be in that theme and by doing it this way it's kind of kind of I keep saying kind of um, it pushes you to to challenge yourself so 
I like it. This is really pretty. It's my first time actually using this shade. So and it is so easy to work with. I was a bit worried that it would be a bit difficult to use in this way, but hmm. I'm not worried about being too kind of neat with this shade because uh, this is just kind of a the transitioning guide shade. Is that what you would say? And then I am going to go into Fahrenheit, which is the red mat there. Oh, I apparently shut my palette. And because I don't want this to kind of be a block colour, I'm using a fluffier brush. I'm trying to challenge myself to just not do the same all the time, just to try some kind of new techniques or new new ways, or new to me anyway, not like new, new. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's good to jump out of your comfort zone a bit, so to speak. Do something that you wouldn't usually do, or you know, do what you would usually do, but in a different way. Who knows? <laughs> I'm rambling. I'm sorry. This isn't a talking video. Right. So I'm starting to really build up the red now, just in the crease. And then straight out. I'm blending it into the pink as we go. But I am. I'm liking the effect. They blend beautifully together. I'm next going in with Unity, which is the deeper, kind of ready, burgundy kind of shade. I'm going in with a tiny fluffy brush because I really don't want this to overtake the look. I just want it to kind of define things and deepen. how that is looking so I'm going to go in with just kind of a small smudgy brush into unity the deeper of the mats they're just joining the lower and upper lids out at the outer edge here so I'm just kind of stamping it in place and dragging it along a bit. Hmm. Looking a good. And then I'm just going to use the same brush just to pack 
a bit on the outer lid there. And then just smudge it a bit. Yeah, just packing some just to make sure that depth is there. And I'm going to go back in with what am I going to go back in with? I'm going to go back in with Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to kind of take that along the edge of our deeper shade. Just using it as just a blending there. And then just with the same brush, I'm dipping back into Terminus, the pink. Just a little bit, just to smudge the top out there. The only space left. And then going back into Unity, the deeper of the shades, just to kind of bring back that little bit more depth. I'm loving how this is looking. Hmm. Um, happy with how that's looking at the moment so i'm going to nip off and pop on some nyx glitter primer and then i'll be back to pop on some shimmers so just stay where you are okay so glitter primer on i'm first going to go in with revolve from lethal cosmetics and and i'm going to be taking that on just this outer Part here just to help blend into the mats. Beautiful. And then next I'm going in with Euphoria, also from Lethal Cosmetics. It's pretty much a Lethal Cosmetics palette, but then the majority of my singles collection is from Lethal, so not surprising really. So let's take that on the most part of my lid here. This shade, oh my god, this is beautiful. This is such a stunning, stunning shade. Oh, I love it. Love it. And then the same on this side. And then I'm going in with Echo, also from Lethal Cosmetics. So just going to take Echo and pop that on the inner part that we have left open. Oh, this is another stunning shade. I like this a lot. I feel very strawberry-like. Well, nearly. Very nearly. Like a bowl of berries. And then on the inner part of my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Lychee from the Pastel Roses. I'm just gonna pop a bit of the NYX Glitter Primer just right up against my lash line. 
just to assist a little bit there so so just here just a little bit there and the same this side that is enough and then I will be taking light cheap and I'm just going to place that press it onto the inner part there and then just drag it down slightly I love this shade. The Pastel Roses do some of the best shimmers, like, ever. That is looking stunning. So for my inner corner, I'm going to pop some NYX Glitter Primer. I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but I've j literally just changed my mind. So we're going with the new, the new plan. I'm literally just kind of tapping it, tapping it on the inside there. And then with the same brush, I'm going into Cryptic, the green shimmer there. And I'm going to stamp that all around the inner corner there and just kind of spike it up into the upper lid there and down slightly there. It's like the, the leaves on the strawberry. That's kind of what I was thinking. think this may have just worked out exactly how I was imagining. Nice. Oh, okay. I am happy with how this is looking. So I'm going to nip off and finish my face. Then I'll be back to show you the finished look and have a bit of a chat. So yeah, don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is finished look number two. I was feeling dramatic, can you tell? Um, I decided to go with a great big wing and then I went over it with Cryptic, the uh, green shimmer there from Lethal. I am loving it. I thought the green would be like green leaves and then on the inner corner, like for the strawberry, I. Yeah, I'm just feeling dramatic today, I think. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this look in the comments section below. It's a little different to my usual, but I'm loving it today. And yeah, let me just show you, tell you, show you what else I've popped on my face. So, for bronzer, I used the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. The blush is from Pout and Shout, as always, pretty much. And it is Chatty Cathy. I haven't used this one for a while, actually. I love them all. The highlighter is from VE Cosmetics, and it is their Divine Highlight. And then for my eyes, the mascara is Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. No surprises there. The I use the Sosu lash glue. I'm actually loving this. And from a eye lash glue hater, that's saying something. So the big wing before the uh, before the shadow went over it is from Madage Beauty. It's the liquid eyeliner. Um, I did receive both mascara and this in PR just to be clear, but I love them both. In my waterline, I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade 
teaspoon. The lashes are from Dramatic Boutique. They're in the style Morgan. So for my lips, I used first the ColourPop Lippy Sticks Primer. Love it. The lip liner is from Essence. It's the Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade Passionate. Love it. And then the lipstick is the ColourPop's Lippy Sticks in the shade Bichette. Which, uh, yeah, kind of suits my mood right now. Love that. So, there are the two looks. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments section below. And, yeah, let's have a chat. I do love chatting with you guys. And I am... Um, I'm going to open it up. I am so happy with how this came out. To start with, I was a bit like, mm, could I have done better? But with the looks... I'm loving it so yeah looking forward to the next one so yes this for if you don't know is kind of a, a regular thing me and Anki now collabing on the build your own palettes she's got me obsessed with single shadows so uh, expect to see more homemade homemade palettes is that the right one more palettes that I've built myself. Something like that. Anyways, Anki, thank you so, so much for collabing with me again. Every time, it's so much fun. And yeah, guys, if you don't know who Anki is, which I think is a silly question because I'm pretty sure most, if not all of you do, but if you don't, please head on over to her channel to check her out. Her channel and the video will be linked in the description box below. Super easy to find. Please go over, like, subscribe, comment, everything. She deserves so much more than what she gets. And uh, yeah, I love her so, so much. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you are new around here, as you probably already guessed, I, I love colourful makeup. That's my thing. And I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. And also, which I always forget to mention, I only use cruelty-free products on my channel. So anything that you see me using you can you can guarantee is cruelty free so i'm super proud of that by the way so yeah if that if that sounds like something you'd like if you want to jump on board then please do hit the subscribe button and if you hit the notification bell then youtube will let you know every time i upload a video so yeah that's that's about it <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.